Hey guys, Slash and Critics here. Just be a quick preview on Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, when it comes to the gameplay itself, it is incredibly smooth. All the different interactions, shot locks, grand magic, everything does make the game a bit more clustered. Considering you can get up to three to even four different triangles to use. You can alternate between them just for a bit more of your choice sort of thing, but it does cluster up the command menu a bit more. Bosses are more just giant help after now. You can just spam triangles into them all day and you'll be fine. The options menu does have a bit more added features considering the cuisine menu now, but abilities and customize is technically still the same with a few minor adjustments. When you come over enough certain spells, you can create the grand spells. You can go up a form or you can even go up to the grand magic forms. Pyraga goes into Pyraza, and other all those things. And that you've got your unique keyblade forms. For example, the Mirage Keyblade allowing you to create forms whenever you clean yourself or dodge and then just spam X and you'll kill a ton of people. Every keyblade form is quite unique, but you will find others that you prefer to spam. You it a too, um, the story is quite in depth, you need to make so sure you don't just play like Kinoz 1 and 2, it has to be at least birth by sleep, bring drop distance, maybe improve Jade Day as well. There are a few others you can play as well for more in-depth knowledge, but it's your choice. On that, Gummy Shift has been changed a lot considering you can now move quite a little bit more. Secret bosses are also inside the actual gummy ship realms, as well as mini games you can do in the actual gummy ship. Gummy ship is probably one of the funnest things about it. The music's quite pleasing for just running around, just shooting the shit out of things. Every world has its own unique benefits, especially depending on which one you want to run around in most time or farm cooking ingredients for Remy. Depending on if Square do bring extra DLC for maybe even maps or more battle arenas, they can change that. But battle arenas right now are just pretty much just to get XP quickly. It's pretty easy to get to 99 just spamming battle arenas. There is only one secret boss in the game so be aware of that. Well, the secret boss that is keep a tide. The other one is inside the gummy ship. On that, it is a great game to play, especially mostly if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, do not try to play it. You will not understand shit.